How to design your identification presets in PractiCAD. You will notice when you go to the workbox and look at the properties for zone, floor, and system number, we have a little down arrow that if clicked, a drop down menu will appear. This tutorial is here to help you to add or modify that drop down menu. You will notice that for zone, floor, and system number, the same drop down menus that appear here will also appear in your AutoCAD property box when you've got a fitting highlighted. We're going to go down to the identification parameters. I'm scrolling through by holding the gray bar and holding the mouse down to scroll up. And looking at the identification parameters, we can see here that we've got floor, zone, and system number. Notice that these have drop down menus and some other identification properties don't. So we're going to show you how to add to these drop down menus. You will also notice that you get a little dialog box next to special instruction and we also have a drop down menu down to mark as. First we're going to show you floor, zone, and system number. In order to add or modify these presets we must go into the library icon on the PractiCAD ribbon. If you're using AutoCAD Express toolbars, the icon will be there. On the left hand side, we must make sure that next to presets, we have the little plus key open so that we can see the identification selection. When we click on identification, here we can start to see the different types of identification properties Practicat offers. They are system number, zone, floor, special instructions, mark as, and accessories. First, we're going to start with the ones in our workbox, system number, zone, and floor. To add something to our system number properties to that drop down menu, all we need to do is highlight the green checkbox and click once. Now I can simply say we'd like to add the letter F for system number. And then we're going to add another one with the letter G. If we decide we do not want to add one or take it away, we can hit the red X or the delete key and then PractiCAD will remove it. If we decide we'd like to change the order of the parameters as we see them in the workbox or the drop down menu in the AutoCAD property box, we can click on the up arrow to move something up and the down arrow to move something down. So in this tutorial we're now going to come and we're going to go to zone and we're going to add a zone by clicking on the green checkbox and we're going to type in grease duct. And this will be an added zone. And then we're going to switch type and go to floor. And here we're just going to add to the bottom of the list floor 101 and hit enter. Once we've changed the types and added and modified the list, all we need to do is hit the save key and then close out of my library. Now if we go into the workbox and look at zone, you can see that we've got the choice for grease duct floor, we've got the choice for floor 101, and system number, we've added system number F. Remember that you can freely type into each one of these fields. However, if you want to add something to the presets, you must go into the library icon. 